All right, welcome back. Now let's try to put all those special cases to use and try a few examples. And so for here, we're going to start with this function secant cubed of x. So how is this, you know, what is this function? We want to be able to identify what are the, the kind of the pieces of this function that make it a composite. And it helps when we have these trig powers, powers of a trig function like this, at least at first, it helps to, to rewrite them so that it's clear it's actually a power function. It's secant x all cubed. So it makes it clear that our outer function is a power function. So writing it like this, we can see our outer function. The thing that happens last is this raised to the power 3. And then what happens inside the parentheses, that's our inner function. That's our secant x. All right, so how does the calculating the derivative, how is that going to look here? Well, we're going to calculate h prime. And it's a power function. So we use the general power rule. So what does that say? says take this 3, bring it down, put it in front. We keep everything inside the parentheses exactly the same, so the secant x exactly the same. Subtract 1 from the exponents, so we go from 3 down to 2. So that feels like power rule. Um, but because we have this more complicated term inside the parentheses, we then have to multiply by its derivative. So derivative of secant x. We go to our table. If we don't remember, hopefully we re we're starting to remember what the derivative of, of secant is. But if we don't remember, uh, where is it? Here we go. Derivative is secant x times tan x. So we just fill that in. And we can probably simplify this. So we have a secant squared here. We have another secant here. So we can combine those into a secant cubed. And normally the way we write a power of a trig function is with the, the exponent directly on the, the trig name. So we would actually could simplify this and write it as 3 times secant cubed x times tan x. Just less things to write. <laughs> um, but it's fine if we want to leave it here. That's fine as well. All right, let's try the next one. y equal to secant of x cubed. Now we're going to calculate y prime, and we see that secant is on the outside, so that's going to be our outer function. So again, we just want to identify what's the outer function, what's the inner function. So the outer function is secant here, and then the inner function is what's happening inside the parentheses, so that's our x cubed. So when we go to calculate y prime, we start by differentiating the outer function. So what's the derivative of the outer function? It's secant, well, derivative of secant x. Um, the outer function is secant, so the derivative is going to be secant times tan. So that's the derivative of the outer function. And let's just go back for a second here to our general trig rule that says we differentiate our trig function. We keep the same inner function, so we keep that plugged in. So what was ever inside the original trig function kind of stays inside. It stays the same. And then once we have that plugged in, then we, we go through and multiply by the derivative of our inner function. So the, the kind of the thing we're looking at right now is we want to keep our inner function the same. in this example. So we have the derivative of secant, it's secant times tan, but then we want to keep this inner function the same. So it's going to be x cubed here and x cubed here. So that x cubed is inside now the, the uh, derivative of secant. Now that's not the end of the story. We then take our inner function and multiply by its derivative. So we want to do the derivative of x cubed. So this might be just a kind of a tricky thing to identify here. This portion 
is the derivative of our outer function. So the derivative of secant is secant times tan, and then we plug in whatever inner function was there, we plug that in, so x cubed here. All right, we still have to differentiate this inner function, and that one's just a power function, so that's no big deal. So we get secant, time, uh, secant of x cubed times tan of x cubed, and then the derivative of x cubed, which is 3x squared. And just to kind of keep things nice and clear, Normally, it's helpful to take this term and put it in front of all the trig terms. So we'd write this as 3x squared times secant of x cubed times tan of x cubed. And there we go. Nice derivative using our, using our chain rule. All right, so we're going to practice a few more problems, a few more examples, just to, to really emphasize this chain rule. It's, it's incredibly important. So we'll, we'll, we'll see you in a, in a few seconds.